Um, I was going to try and ramble through a another dissertation, the one of eight million of my stupid fucking thoughts that ramble around my head. Um, and this one kind of pertains to video games as a whole. And, uh, it's kind of been something I think, it's like, it is a really hard thing for me to nail down. I think I've talked about this in the past, I'm not entirely sure. It's a thought that doesn't, like, I can scratch at it at a surface level. But when I try and get too deep into it, I lose focus of what I'm trying to, like, assess. You know, does that make sense? It probably doesn't make sense. I'm talking to myself in an empty room. It doesn't make sense. Um, but it, it kind of it, it pertains to gratification in video games. Um, how did I phrase this? Gratification and fulfillment. Um, and uh, trying to think of how to phrase this. Um, I've never played Monster Hunter, but yeah, we'll go with Monster Hunter. I've never played Monster Hunter. Um, and I don't play Monster Hunter because I understand it's fun. It's fun to hunt monsters. It's fun to fight them. Uh, it's fun to craft your weapons and equipment out of the parts of the monsters that you defeated, you know, as trophies. Uh, to kind of show your growth and your uh, exemplary uh, performance and all that shit. But to me, at the end of the day, you're always just upgrading your equipment and your stuff to go and do that again. You know, it's a, it's a cyclical uh, thing. And I can't really get behind that, you know? I can't really gel with that. Uh, I need more than just the act to motivate me to actually do it, I guess. Um, and then you have games like Final Fantasy, and you kind of you kind of have something of a similar notion, but only in that case, you've got uh, you've got the story, the plot elements tied into your progress in a particular skill class. Um, Fantasy Life is very much the same. Uh, it's a game of adventure, but your progress in adventuring is tied directly to you mastering your lives, you know? Um, and you kind of have to sit down and wonder, okay, well, what's the point of all this at the end of it? You know, like Final Fantasy XIV, I think, does an, a decent job when it functions properly of putting you in these obscenely challenging um, uh, I forget what they were called you know what I'm talking about though like the, the really the end game levels where you've got like three teams of 30 people and if someone if one person fucks up the whole thing get, uh, gets screwed over you know that kind of shit uh, or sometimes it's just no one's fault. Would you stop rapping, please? Fuck off. Um. It's going to take me a while to get this whole thought put together. Um. So for me, just the the growth of power in itself is not validation enough for me to play a video game, I guess is what I'm getting at. Where I'm going with all this. Um, fuck this per- like, why do you have a fucking Team Rocket set? What's going on here? Um...
sorry, I'm listening to the blasphemy plot. If you can call it that. One of these days I'm going to play Blast Me when I have a good computer. It's like such a fun game. <clears throat> um, so yeah, I, I don't think like... Oh, hey JoJo. I am rambling to myself about a thought. I'm trying to coalesce into like... What makes a video game fulfilling, you know? What validates your time you put into it? I also don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to finish out the Pokedex, and I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. It's a lot of, like, I have to breed shit. I have to just train a bunch of shit and evolve it, and then... Um... I don't know. For being, like... I'm a little over half, but it feels like I've got most somehow. There's a few on here I'm kind of worried about. I don't know where Taurus and Mangmar are. Um, I need to turn Vinny down. I need to distract him again. Oh, there we go. Considering that some people enjoy slot machines, dopamine hits. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Like, think about Team Fortress 2, you know? Like... To someone who has played that game versus someone who hasn't, you can have completely different interpretations of why someone would play that, you know? Like, if you just go and watch Forby or somebody on fucking YouTube, you can say, yeah, it's dopamine hits, he's doing some crazy fucking sniping shit. Um, but if you sit down and play a fucking, uh, a round of TF2 and you don't get computers and shit, like, you get actual people... Uh, it's so fucking weird how that game can work, particularly, like, okay, in my head anyway, you know how, like, the, it's the, the, the same wacky fucking set of characters, you know, they have all the funny, uh, funny memes and catchphrases and all this shit, right? Um, but you get into a game, and you've still got the same characters around saying the same stupid shit, um, la di dying and having all this shit. But it can get so fucking real. Like, especially when it's like, it's the same people you're playing with for two or three or five rounds. And like, uh, it like, it, it just goes on and on. And you actually start like the, the characters, the funness of them begins to fade out, like, and you, you start seeing red, like, you start seeing red for the spy, or red for the soldier, or red for the fucking demo man, like, uh, and that may serve to extent the fucking dopamine hits, but at the end of the day, even with that going on, you having that really, uh, legit experience, even when you're perfecting your craft, even when you're getting all your fucking, um, your spy shit down, your sniping down, your uh, rocket jumping down, uh, your engineering practice in. It's like, 
at the end of the day, all you can ever do is queue into another game. You know what I'm saying? It, it was like with Warframe, why I haven't played Warframe in like a fucking year, is because uh, once I had a dream of it, like I was playing Warframe enough that I was dreaming of it. And I remember it vividly. I had, uh, oh, I shouldn't have fucking gone again. Uh, I might be okay. If it doesn't crit, I'll be okay. Um, yeah, I'm okay. I had Vauban, just regular ass Vauban. And I had a, uh, it's the fucking gun the Corpus used. Just a regular fucking Corpus gun. I forget exactly what it's called. It's one of my favorites, but. And I was running around, and I was like a fucking... I wasn't a Warframe, I was a fucking Warframe pirate. And I was going around grabbing money and shit. And, like, I had some kind of gameplay. Like, I was playing the game, except it wasn't really the game. And then, like... I woke up and I realized... Uh... The game will never actually be that, you know? All I can ever... Stop fucking flinching. All I can ever do is load up another mission, you know? Um, you know, and see, this is, like, this is the problem I'm getting into. It's like, when you start peeling back this, it's like, you just don't stop uh, finding other things, you know? Um, oh, let's get Big Dick out here. Have I shown you Big Dick yet? This is Big Dick. <laughs> we caught one of the level 45 Weedles. And look at him go. <laughs> actually, he's actually not bad. <laughs> For a level 18 Psyduck, anyway. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Hold on. Oh, shit, you heard all that, Polly. Hold on a second. All right. So what I'm saying is like, um, were I ever to make a game, I, I don't know, like, there are some games where you play them, uh, for the, like, the story, you know, like, they may be more, like, less gameplay oriented, but they may have a, a really good story that you vibe with or gel with or makes you think about something you never thought of before, you know, thought provoking shit. Um... Oh, it didn't do anything. Jesus Christ. Um. I don't know. There's just, there's something that, like, that puts me off from games as a whole. You know? I can't really put my finger on it. And see, I apply it less, like you said, chess and old games and shit. Like, uh, um. I'm trying to think. Like. Chess and, like, by go by its nature, I think, are, like. Potentially endless possibilities of how to play it so there's that like that whole idea of exploration never changes um and it's from a mechanical like a mathematical core of near infinite possibilities not like not procedural generation where it's really it's not actually procedural or it's not like it's procedural but it's not uh fuck what words um there's like maybe a 16 by 16 possibilities of each seed or a certain like number of uh, factors that if you do like 200 seeds, you're going to start seeing similarities begin to bleed through uh, that kind of shit. Um, I think we're just going to a Cinnabar. 
I need to go do some breeding.